And what I want to do is something I was going to do at the end, but this is a perfectly great place and time to do it, is just to show you a few uh, places to get more information. And I know a few of you are members of the chapter, and you're definitely encouraged to join the newest chapter of the CNPS, which is the Bri-Fi chapter. You can join the Bri-Fi chapter for free if you're already a CNPS member, or if you have a, you know, a nominal CNPS membership, uh, you, you can join. And we provide lots of resources at the website for people. And we can um, look at the website quickly. This is what the website looks like. So there's news about events. We have the current Sobe Free that's happening in two weeks is uh, full and has been full for a while, but you can see the upcoming dates and times for that. That's our big event of the year. That's a long foray. But then there are other events that are happening, including the thing we're doing right now. There's a Bride Fight Walk happening uh, in April in Mendocino. So upcoming events we put in that place. There's a newsletter that comes out quarterly, cleverly called the Bryolog. Pretty nice, huh? And here is that Dendrosia californica. This is what it looks like dry. It opens like a fir tree when it's wet. And we put our news here, just like all the CMPS chapters do, and announcements and so forth. And then the place to really look for your resources is this tab has a lot of things it covers some of the stuff I was talking about. Just you know, what, what are the parts? How do you how do you section a leaf of a moss and and that sort of thing? Then there, that's for real beginners. There's a tab here on tools. What's the recommended kind of hand lenses to get and so forth? We have uh, literature here, and you know, what are the best keys and things like that to identify the bryophytes in different places. The uh, California Mosses is a book that um, is still for sale by CMPS. If you're looking at my screen, I'm gonna hold it up right here in front of it. Um, you can still get that from CMPS. There's a link to where you can buy it. It's on a real discount right now. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you was the uh, Moss eFlora. Unfortunately, we don't have it yet for the for the liverworts, but for the mosses, where have we got that linked? We have it linked somewhere. <laughs> I guess I can't find it uh, right off the bat. I think I already have it open here somewhere. No, I guess I don't. Um, there's an online uh, eFlora available at one of these links that uh, there's a bunch of Madronio issues, by the way, but we took the information from the Madronio issues and we put it into uh, a, um, a web form. So uh, definitely uh, check that out. Okay. Then, oh, well, here's a picture of what the eFlora looks like. It's linked to from a few places. I just couldn't find it handy. There's that Hokeria picture that I showed you. Here's Dan Norris with that um, magnifier contraption on that I was mentioning. The apple mosses, they're really not that hard to identify. They are um, feared by many botanists that they might be hard to try to identify, but they're really not hard. The centric information itself, we have we had a separate National Science Foundation project on that, and there is uh, a lot of information there, a lot of background information, including on desiccation tolerance and poikilohydry and all kinds of things like that, which you can find. Um, 3D moss stands for desiccation diversity in dry land moss. And there is uh, a set of uh, videos that we send out to you as uh, preparation. Some of you may have already looked at these, but if you didn't get around to looking at the video links that Stacy sent out before the workshop, you can find them there at 3D Moss. And they cover many, there's all these videos there, including an introduction to moss biology that repeats some of what I'm doing here. 
but a lot of other information about genomics and ecology, water movement, ecophysiology, much more on population genetics, phylogenetics, and uh, in the BioCrust by Matt Bowker, who's uh, one of the experts on BioCrust. And what this workshop, that was a previous Jepson workshop, and what that did was focus in on just that one genus in great detail. But if you're interested in background, that makes really good, um, good contact for you. So I would definitely suggest uh, checking that out. And the most important thing, if you're a beginner, is probably to come to some of the forays or meetings and get a chance to uh, interact with other biologists and learn the lore of the, um, of the field. But you can get an awful lot of that just from these um, links that we are providing here.